What's up guys, I'm back with another tutorial for you here, but this one is a little bit different to the last one, so there's a few notes before we start. The f if you haven't seen the previous one, I would definitely recommend watching that one first, especially if you've never done it before. That, that one is the tutorial, that one is how you learn how to run sword. This one is strictly for people that already know how to run sword and want to try and do it fairly easily in two downs. Another thing is, this run... I wasn't attempting for it to be, but it was completely flawless. And I have to stress that you, you don't have to do it as good as this to get it done in two swords. But this one just ran perfectly. So I, do, I always do the heavy ammo glitch at the start here, you'll see, but you don't have to. And there will be a few other things I mentioned, but I won't mention everything. So I, I'm going to put the link to the other tutorial in the uh, comments below, but you don't have uh, I would recommend you watch that first. So I would usually start by using a super on these knights to make orbs but we realized when we landed we only had uh, titans and one guy didn't actually have a mic on him the 31 so we didn't bother doing that with two swords it's not that necessary as long as you have a hunter he doesn't he shouldn't really need any orbs but as you said as as i said it's going to be flawless so you'll see that i don't actually need any health regen somehow um when we get out of this room it's going to be roughly the same as the other video I've shown, which is why I don't want to go into too much detail. But I'm going to add in an R1 every time I hit Crota. You'll see. It's fairly simple. When you hit the R1, the R2 you hit next will smash straight through it. Um, I think it's... I can't remember what the buttons are for Xbox. It's fairly similar. I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. But basically, the way I do this is one R1 at the beginning, 4R2s. In the previous video you see me do 4R2s. It's all fairly simple. All you need to know is you hold up on the left analog stick or forwards towards Crota as you're hitting and that will make you hit fairly faster than if you don't press it. So you will definitely need that for this. You don't need it for the other tutorial but it definitely helps. So this is all the same as normal. I'll stand up here, I'll shoot down at the sword bearer. This is why I do the heavy ammo glitch, because as you'll see, everyone else fires rockets too. It just makes this whole process a lot faster. I recommend you switch off of your heavy, because if the sword ever disappears while you're holding it, you don't want to fire heavy straight into the back of Kura. It's just a wipe. You do want to tuck right into the rock here. You'll see on my second run that Crow is actually facing me, and if you don't tuck in, he will shoot you. So you call for the down. You have to time this just as his shield's going off. You see 1R1, 4R2. You'll see it again on the second one. Ah. It's about three seconds after he stands up that you want to start firing again, but your team should be able to do that without you. You call out the first one. 1R1, 4R2s. Swing away. You'll see, I didn't lose any health there, but if you do lose health, it's no big deal. Use some orbs inside, as long as you get back in. As you saw, I swung away from Crow to get back down. It's the easiest way to do it. And you hang around in here. Know that you're nearly finished. Now you want to make sure when you're doing this that you didn't miss anything. So when you, you'll see when I aim at him now, you need his health to be exactly where it is. I believe it's between the T and the A. Uh, it might even be a little bit lower than the T. I'm not sure. I have a smaller screen on me at the moment, but I'm sure you'll be able to see. So it's one or one, four R twos. You need to press forward on the left analog stick, and the R two, your first R two, should cancel out the R one, as you probably saw just now, and you'll see again in a second. As soon as you hit R1, you want to be straight into your four R2s, and the first R2 will just cut straight through that first R1, but the damage will still count. Now, I have had this before, but I didn't have it in this run. If you hit R1 too early, you'll see Immune pop up. Obviously, you're not going to get the hang of this straight away, but if you do see Immune pop up, you still do your four R2s, and you try and throw an R1 in at the end. There is definitely time to do it, I've done it before, but obviously it's a lot quicker if you do it at the beginning because you can cut into it. So now we head back out. This time you want to make sure your team's standing at the front of the ledge, because when he gets enraged they can get hit from behind. But this is still all covered in my earlier tutorial. This is literally just for people that are comfortable getting 4 R2s, just adding an extra R1 in to get it done in two swords. So the same thing. It's helpful if you know where the sword bearer is, but everyone should be firing rockets. This is why we do the heavy ammo glitch. It's just a lot quicker, especially if he hides like that and just runs away. Just want to make sure it's done quickly. Grab the sword. Tuck in. You'll see this time Crota's staring straight at me and if I don't tuck in, he will shoot and that's it. I wipe. 
at this stage, if you do miss one of your R1s, you still have time, you'll see. He doesn't get enraged if you do it the, the same amount of hits that I have. So if you do miss one on that hit, this is the time you call out Ogres. Everyone gets down into the Ogre room. I've recorded it on my other tutorial, you'll see how to do the Ogres, it's fairly easy. You should already know that if you're trying to do this in two swords. But that's the time where you want to get it done. You bail on that last sword hit, you don't want to enrage him and just have a wipe. So if you miss a hit, just get out. So I will show my stats, like all my guns that I use, and my Blade Dancer setup, because people do generally ask how I set myself up for these runs. Um, of course you get the increased melee speed perk as well with the raid gear, so that's included. And I recommend a shotgun for those one-on-ones with the sword bearer where he hasn't quite gone down, because it will be the quickest way to take him down when you're straight up against him. So I hope you found this helpful, and I'd appreciate if you liked and subscribed for future tutorials.